This is Meg from Movie Clips with my top five movies to get you psyched for break. Spring break! Don't do that, it'll end up on the internet. Number five, the 1978 comedy classic, Animal House. This film's directed by John Landis, director of Coming to America and the Blues Brothers. Starring the comedy legend, John Belushi. Nobody's ready to party without a lesson from Bluto. It's 1962 at Faber College and the Delta fraternity is about to get axed. So what do they do? They throw the most epic party of all time. Toga, 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 toga. Pluto gives the dumbest, most historically inaccurate, but best speech of all time to the Deltas. Was it over when the Germans bombed Pearl Harbor? Hell no! And the rest is film history. Number four, Super Bad. Directed by Greg Matola of Adventureland and Paul. Jonah Hill, Michael Cera, Christopher Mintz Plasse, and Emma Stone all give breakout comedic performances. This film is about two inseparable friends who are a little bummed out that they're going to different colleges in the fall. So they decide to get their party on and to try to hook up with the girls of their dreams. So they volunteer to get all the booze for the party, but what they don't know is that that will lead them into a crazy wild night full of period stained pants, Ew. being stuck in a room with a bunch of coked out weirdos having to serenade them, and getting drunk off of Tide beer. This film taught us a lot of lessons for all you wannabe party animals. Any fake ID is better than McLovin from Hawaii. In the end, sweet nerds can get the girls. No matter where you get into college, true friendships last a lifetime. That's the most beautiful thing in the world. Number three, Can't Hardly Wait. Starring Jennifer Love Hewitt, Ethan Embry, Seth Green, Lauren Ambrose, and Peter Fascinelli. Before he was Carlisle. This is hands down the best high school graduation film of all time. So many great memorable moments and characters in this film. From the exchange student, would you like to touch my penis? Sheep girl. And yearbook girl, Melissa Joan Hart. Do you guys remember her? It was the 90s. A time when unlikely pairs had sex when locked in the upstairs bathroom Room, when guys were still romantic and wrote love letters. Amanda, I love you. A time when Jennifer Love Hewitt was the hottest girl around. Don't even get me started on Seth Green's outfit. Number two, Piranha 3D. I know what you're thinking. Why would I want to watch this? I don't want to get in the water, and I just bought a new bikini. I'll tell you why. It's fucking amazing. It has one of the best lake party scenes of all time. It's like MTV Spring Break and Girls Gone Wild mixed together. Little do they know, a tremor has unleashed prehistoric piranhas onto that very lake. And the piranhas just rip their bodies apart, boobs are exposed, skin comes off, it's a great party. I chose this film because it's out of control. It's one of my favorite Spring Break films. It's campy enough to not take itself too seriously, but not too campy that it's unwatchable. And the number one movie to get you psyched for break is Dazed and Confused. It's the last day of school, everybody knows that feeling, in 1976, small town Texas. I don't know what it's like to be in high school in 1976, but I'm from a small town. All you have is each other and lots of time to get wasted during the summer days and nights. This is the start of Matthew McConaughey as the laid back cool dude. You just gotta keep living, man. L-I-V-I-N. Even though it takes place in the 70s, it can be applied to any decade. It has an all-star cast and an amazing soundtrack. It teaches us no matter what you do or where you are, as long as you're with your friends, you're gonna have a good time. It ain't where you are, it's where you're at. Whether you're partying on a beach or doing nothing, memorable moments happen when you're with your friends. So take advantage of break, because one day you'll have responsibilities, like me. This is Movies with Meg. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like us on Facebook, and I'll see you next time.